Friday one video is a free to back with another deck review and this is the Martin point guard. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Marsan, I don't have the sensor. And these are designed, or these are from Ford's Arts, which is a new company from rarepointingcards.com. It's their uh, playing card brand, if you will. And um, these are designed by Nikolai Aero. I always hope that's how you pronounce it. Not 100% sir. Who's designed many decks on Kickstarter, usually for himself or through himself, through his own company or another company. This is actually like the first one he's done for someone else. But very nice. Martin is actually, I guess it's a German word that means fairy tales. And these are all about German folklore. You got two decks. You got the Hamelin. Hamelin means, or is the word for medieval town. It's all about the majestic castles, towns, villages, etc. And the other one, Swartzwald, uh, means enchanted forest. And it's all about um, forest, which is home to wolves, devils, uh, ghostly maidens, caves, and all sorts of creatures and whatnot. It's all about fairy tales and folklore. This one says Hamlin on top, established 2017, limited edition, Martin playing cards, and 2000. And this one says Swartzwald, and 2000 as well, everything else is the same. This one's kind of a uh, beige color, with red colors, and this is more like dark greens, with some red. To the side, it says Legends Point Guard Company, these are just printed by Legends. There is some embossing on the top case, so I don't know if you can see that, with the cellophane, but there is some. And the other side, Martin Point Guards, top, says Swartzwald. Swartzwald and Hamlin, I'm assuming. And at the bottom, it says 54 point cards. Martin point cards by Ford's Arts, put in Taiwan by Legends Point Cards, designed in Germany by Nikolai Aero. So he would know a thing or two about this since he is from Germany. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool thing. The backs, it says 54 poker point cards, Ford's Arts. Nice details, and each one has got a unique style to it, as you can see, of more embossing, I believe. And the seals are stamp type seals. Let's say four darts, Martin Point Cards, limited edition. This is 252 out of 2000. And this one's 1310 out of 2000. And interestingly enough, if you didn't see my unboxing video, these decks actually came in plastic cases. I don't know if that's something that Rare Playing Cards does for older decks, or if it's just extra protection for these specific decks. But I thought that was pretty cool. And oh yes, there's also one more thing. There's a booklet that came with that. That they're giving away for free on the website if you order them. Although when I did, they wanted to charge me an extra few dollars for shipping, and I was like, no. <laughs> it's free, but I have to pay more for shipping. I mean, for this. You gotta be kidding me. But they sent it to me anyways, which is really cool. And it's got information on all the characters, some of which I'm going to totally butcher the names on. Um, I didn't read it as of yet. They're all obviously like on a uh, folk tales and fairy tales. So let's get to the cards. Let's look at the flaps first. The more beautiful details with a nice M. And here we get some birdies. And this one you get some foliage on the inside. And this one... Nice details again, and you got a different pattern on the inside. And also you get the, I guess the dragons on the flaps there. Put the top cases aside. I'll go with this one first. This is Swartzwald, oh, sorry, that's the Hamelin, I apologize. The jokers, they say joker on the corners with a fancy symbol, some sort. And this one's got like a seal to it, a uh, crest. Very nice. Some armor, perhaps. And the other one is joker in red, and it's got a castle. The backs, beautiful red and gold. I think there's some metallic inks to this deck. Very nice. Simple, but nice. Elegant. The aces, there you go, the ace of spades. 
They got a little red background within them. It says FordsArts.com, designed by Nikolai Aero. Nice custom pips and indexes. Though it's kind of weird that the spade looks smaller than the rest of the aces. <laughs> You'd think it'd be bigger. But very nice nonetheless. And I like the custom pips and everything. I apologize, let's move on. And then we get to the court cards. They're beautiful, they got a red background again. Similar to what you see on the inside of the tuck case for this one. And you get Weiss Frauen. Like I said, I'm gonna butcher the names. Knet Wiprecht. King Watsman. Never heard of most of these, I don't think. Perdsta. Then again, I'm not German, so I wouldn't know what these folk tales. Morback Monster. Scary looking. And then this guy's kind of scary looking too. A druid. Not how I picked a druid, but I guess that's a different druid. Lorelei. Uh, Rubizol. Peed Piper of Hamelin. Peed Piper. Everyone's familiar with that one. Barbarossa, Hansel and Gretel, and this one is a one-way, I mean, I think they're uh, mostly mirror-imaged, and this one is Princess Brunhild, and then you get to the number cards, nice beautiful custom pips, and we'll get the diamond as well, very nice, I like that, um, I'm not sure I'm assuming, what does it say on the tuck case? It doesn't say, but I think it's a classic finish, but I'm not 100% sure. Then we get into the other one. It is different a little bit. The Jokers, you get a black one, some gold coloring, and it's a cuckoo clock. And this one, the back design, by the way, same idea, except that it's black and gold. But the same thing more or less, or the same exactly. And the other joker has got gold in the index and it's a tree. There's the enchanted forest. <laughs> the aces, you'll see is the same as before, except there's a gold background. Uh, a metallic ink, I think. And the hearts and diamonds have gold pips as well. And you get the same kind of a background as the other deck. Same pips and everything that I can tell. And court cards are the same as well. With a gold background. And the number cards, again, same. Same custom pips, except hearts and diamonds are in gold. Beautiful cards. They look nice. They handle nice. It's nice to see a Nikolai Aero deck that's produced with Legends as opposed to Noir Arts. Because the quality is definitely better. Nothing against Noir Arts, but the quality just isn't on par with Legends slash Expert or USB-C. The beautiful decks. I would give this... Um... Probably a 9 and 3 quarters out of 10. Very, very nice. Not much I don't like about it. I just, uh, I don't know. It's very nice. I, like I said, 9 and 3 quarters out of 10. I think that's a pretty solid score. I don't know. Maybe it's a 10 out of 10. It's very nice. I like them. I reckon te recommend checking them out. They're available for most card and magic shops. And definitely check out wearplanecards.com. And you can also check out the site Ford's Arts. Although, you, you buy it on wearplayingcards.com anyways, but fordsarts.com, links will be in the description, you can find more information about them. And their decks, they did have another project that funded not too long ago, so be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure I'm going to get that one, but you never know. So that is that. Comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.